Uh, I'm Dr. Muhammad Shahid. I'm 48 years of age. Uh, originally from India, I'm based in the UK for the last uh, 20 years. Uh, I'm a doctor by profession. I specialize in internal medicine, lung disorders, and sleep disorders. Joining Al Balagh has been one of the uh, biggest blessings Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala has given me. Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala says, "Wa amma bi ni'mati rabbika fahadis." So after the blessing of Islam, I perceive that joining Al Balagh has been one of uh, Allah Taala's big ni'mah on me. What can I say about the benefit? I mean, uh, for me, it's been a transformational uh, journey and it continues. I just believe I'm at the start of that. Uh, Alhamdulillah, it's given me a structure which was not present earlier. Uh, it gives me regularity. So because we have the classes every every week, every weekend, uh, it doesn't let you become sort of complacent. There will be days and weeks where you have commitments, where you're not fully up to it. But knowing that the class is there, you just, alhamdulillah, you bring yourself to the class and soon as you join, you know, the light switches on and then uh, you feel sort of whole again. Also, the breadth and depth of the curriculum is something uh, that I would like to mention. So, uh, for example, the, there are aspects which you'd never find in your own self-study and which you would not learn from, uh, the, you know, anywhere else unless you're in a program like this. So, for example, revising the Akida, uh, Learn, learning the Tazkiyah class, I'll mention a bit more about that, and fit. So this, like, you cannot learn on your own. It has to be under the guidance of uh, expert scholars. And the journey of seeking ilm, uh, as uh, the brothers before me have mentioned so eloquently, it is fud upon every uh, believer according to their capacity. And personally, after having dedicated two decades to studying medicine, I cannot justify to myself that I would not be making efforts to learning the deen of Allah, which is of far greater uh, importance. Uh, you learn about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. I mean, how else are we to learn about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala except uh, through his words and through what he has conveyed to us uh, through his uh, beloved Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa Then you also learn about that for every situation, as the brother before me mentioned, that for every situation, I find there's a command of Allah and there is a sunnah of Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam to follow. And that's what the whole journey of ilm is about, is learning about Allah, our creator, and learning about what his commandments are uh, in every situation of life. And it's quite daunting. I mean, like, but Alhamdulillah, it's a process which can occupy you, inshallah, till you're passing away from this world and uh, meeting Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in a state that you're on this journey. With the teachers, it becomes like a fast track route. The way I think about it is like, imagine you with a backpack and, traveling by walk by foot through the mountains and jungles and being on a motorway in a in a in a vehicle with other people so with the scholars who have already traversed this route alhamdulillah even though it is a weekend course i find the way it is structured with using the most modern uh, 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 technology available using the the platform these are like state of the art i can't think of there being any better one even in the modern university so combining the traditional knowledge with the modern way of delivering. And what I love about al Balag also is about in the short courses, which I find very, very tempting, very challenging as well with our, all our commitments, but okay. the way they are combining it to all the modern issues. So with the LGBT, there's scientism, there's uh, Judaism, Christianity, uh, there's so artificial intelligence, there's, you know, the list just goes on and on. But it's I don't see anybody else that is doing that. And really, that is the need of the art. Because uh, while, alhamdulillah, the external aspects of Islam are still very visible, but the internal aspect of it, and we don't realize how much of an impact it has on our interior, where we are walking around with false ideologies. Because if you don't have the truth, then there's a vacuum, and that vacuum will be filled in by other ideologies around you, even though you don't uh, uh, recognize that. And the pro the scholars are the, uh, the waris uh, of the... Uh, of the prophets uh, salam. and uh, how is it preserved how is this knowledge preserved is in the books and also in the hearts of the learned so the people with the chain of uh, which goes right back to prophet wasallam. so this is the benefit that I'm, I'm having it then also in the Tazkiya class with Mufti Abrar Saab, uh, I found that extremely beneficial because it gives us a framework so we think oh uh, so my mindset has changed from a few years ago to just be doing enough just to be within the fold of Islam because you are so overwhelmed with your professional work and everything. So the mindset is like, uh, oh, I just just to be within the fold of Islam that I'm not. And whereas now Mufti Abrah Sahib has given us the aim of achieving wilaya, 
that is to achieve the maximum closeness to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala using so many domains. Like in every work field, we have our annual appraisal. So this is like a, a system where he's given us like a, a proper worksheet, like an Excel sheet with all the domains from your, uh, including your mamlat, your ibadat, your ilm, your sunnas that you're doing, your family relations, etc. And also challenges you to have a critical look at your own self, including your own sins and weaknesses. Uh, and also looking at other neglected areas, like, uh, for example, I'm quite an introvert. So for me to go out and actually be involved in khidma of other people, uh, that because it was like highlighted in this, I alhamdulillah found myself doing uh, more and more. In terms of the impact, I feel it's had a massive impact on my family. So I've always desired good for my, uh, for my family and you want them to be deeny. But what I realize is that till you yourself step in, and start practicing it till you don't take your deen seriously. People are not going to take you seriously, not going to take the deen seriously. But Alhamdulillah, I found a massive impact on that in my wife and my own children. Uh, Alhamdulillah. So that's a, a really huge blessing. Uh, and also at work, as I said, to the fic of medicine, it has just because we deal with a lot of life and death issues pretty much all the time because of our specialty. So how to deal with that? What does Islam say about the end of life issues? Uh, you know, uh, that has really, really given me a lot of confidence in my work as well. And more importantly, like uh, the rest of the world is drowning in, though we, are, we seem to be very well connected, but actually isolation and uh, depression, these are like, it's really killing the world. And Alhamdulillah, uh, through the Alimia program, Alhamdulillah, I feel part of a family. Uh, like you feel part of a, of a huge community. In fact, like I can confidently say that uh, that I'm spending more time with uh, uh, Brother Taslim and Dr. Iqbal Saab and other Brother Yusuf, who's not here, than with many members of my uh, own family as well. So though we may not be in touch like that, but it's like a more a sort of a very deep sort of a heart to heart bond. And also with our teacher. And you know that your whatever your situation is, people will be just a phone call away or just a message away and you will get all the support that you need. And you really... And even if you sort of die on this journey, you know that there will be brothers who will, inshallah, be, be praying for you, you know. Uh, and also, last but not the least, is the opportunity to contribute in a way like uh, I've never been able to contribute before. So in one of the talks, I learned that usually people spend, Muslims spend in four things. One is on yourself. One is on your close family. The other is on uh, poor people. Uh, the charity to people who are poor and deserving and the last is for the establishment of the deen of Allah and usually that pyramid we see we spend most on ourselves then on our families then on giving sadaqah and then the last is left for establishing the deen of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala whereas if you look at the prophetic sunnah and of the sahaba it was a reverse pyramid the maximum expense was on establishing the deen of Allah then the sadaqah to the poor then on the family and last for them themselves so Alhamdulillah, through all the fundraising uh, opportunities, uh, Alhamdulillah, you feel that you're part of something which is bigger than your own self. And uh, Inshallah, I mean, it is an, uh, a, a long, lifelong journey, Inshallah, which I uh, pray uh, continues. And even Inshallah, after we do complete the program, that it only serves as a platform for us to do uh, uh, bigger things to bring us closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So um, I'm grateful once again to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and all our teachers and colleagues for this opportunity.